Let's bring you updates on what's making the rounds as regards the Kaduna um, Abuja train resumption and this is uh, according to the directives that's been given by the government we do have innocent ajiji joining the conversation uh he'd be telling us what's what measures have been put in place to ensure uh, safety of lives and properties innocent ajiji it's good to have you join us this morning on the show thank you very much thanks for having me so yes when the note that the federal government has directed that the uh should be a resumption of the train service. Can you bring us up to speed? What are the measures that have been put in place by the government to ensure that lives are protected? We still all also know that um, you have some citizens in captivity of, I uh, mean, they are also still in captivity of these terrorists. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak at this moment. Uh, in fact, I believe it's an opportunity for me to clear the atmosphere over a lot of things that are trending. Um, government has put in place a lot of security measures to forestall safety. And, uh, you know, issue of security is not normally discussed in the public. So I wouldn't want to begin to talk vividly about the security measures that is being put in place because it's going to be a kind of a way of exposing the security strategy we have in place to forestall safety of our passengers and even our workers. So, but before I go further, I would want to use this opportunity to condole and to sympathize with the family of those that are still in captivity. Of course, it can happen to anyone and it can happen to me also. Nobody is safe as far as this country is concerned. But uh, I wouldn't uh, be happy when issues are politicized over the running of the trend that is uh, coming up on the 23rd of this month. So what are the measures that have been put in place by the government to ensure that lives are protected and those who would be um, using the train are safe? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, discussions. We had a lot of discussions with the security agencies, both the police, the army and the air force. And they have promised and have given their words in terms of protection of, safety, uh, of uh, our trains, our rail tracks and Passengers. I would love to stop there. I wouldn't want to say much on this because it will, uh, as, 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 as I speak, I know the whole world is listening and even the bandits are listening. So if I speak more than this, they could strategize and still come and do worse things that we do not expect. All right, Mr. So, Innocent now, Ajiji, what is the NRC and um, the workers going to do differently this time around? Because uh, from all, for all we know, uh, it is just promises that the government is promising us that, that security measures have been placed. They're even telling us that, that uh, there'll be no morning and night um, you know, service. So what exactly I, uh, is your union doing differently? Thank you very much. We have actually gone far in terms of uh, thinking of uh, what uh, the measures to be put in place should be because already we've been in, uh, on, at the top of the situation right from the first uh, uh, train attack that took place around the bomb blast that took place sometimes in October. So that we have been talking and we have been strategizing. And what the union has put in differently is to make sure that uh, insurance cover takes place for all those that are affected. And we have put uh, that is in terms of the staff. You know, we had a two-day warning strike like sometimes like last year because there was no adequate insurance cover for our workers in place, uh, no proper compensation, no this, no that. And so at the end of it all, we've come to agreement with management in terms of the personal life insurance, though we have a group life insurance, which of course nobody has benefited. So all right, now, all right. Show you innocent, innocent. Life insurance of us every worker. Innocent, you, see, you seem not to get the question I asked you. I wasn't asking us about um, the, I find, in as much as we know that um, the welfare of um, these workers are paramount, I meant specifically uh, what uh, you will be doing differently as, um, for, as in your services directly. For instance, uh, we hear that the NIN uh, is to be used uh, before any uh, passenger gets on board. So how prepared is uh, the workers of the NRC uh, for this particular development? That's what I was asking. You. Oh yeah, we are very prepared for every development because uh, you know we, we our workers have gone on various kind of training to ensure that that is effective. 
And so we are so prepared and we are so much aware that uh, uh, security is one of the paramount issues that is affecting the smooth running of our trains. So we have put in place so many strategies, which I wouldn't want to disclose. I know you, that's why you keep saying that you're not disclosing these strategies. Issue. But then again, are you also aware, innocent, that um, the abductees' families are actually insisting that uh, come May 23rd, they're not going to allow uh, you know, any operation of um, uh, the train service in Kaduna State. Uh, what is going to be done by the NRC? Okay, thank you very much. You see these families that are talking in this manner, in as much as we sympathize with them, but we will not support that. Because they, there are killings every day on the road. Have the family come out to say there shouldn't be running of motor cars on the road? These Chibok girls we are talking about, it's over eight years this year. Have, have they closed all the schools in, in Northeast because of insurgency? Except if we want to close the entire country, then they should continue to insist. Is it because those that are affected on the road and other schools do not have uh, families that have access to social media or the, the, the print or, or, or electronic media that they will be talking in this manner? It's not fair. They are not even fair to railway workers at all because if you insist that we must not run train, then it means they have prepared another job for railway workers to go and do because certainly government will not be keeping people that are doing nothing and be paying them salary for doing nothing. So they are not being fair to us. We want this family to understand that this issue of security affects everybody in this country. And we want them to understand that. In fact, it affects me directly because one of the drivers that is still in captivity happens to be my colleague. We worked together in Bauchi before he was transferred to Abuja. He has been so close to me. I have done a lot of things and a lot of efforts to meet with the family and even uh, the, the family of the other uh, um, staff and members of ours that are in, still in captivity. So we are directly affected equally. And we never can tell who will be the next victim of this attack. So I want the families of these uh, kidnapped uh, uh, people to understand that in as much as, uh, 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 um, except if, if we agree that the country should, should, should not move forward, because it affects everybody. You are even in your house, they will come and kidnap you. So talk more of when you are on the road or when you are on the track. So I want them not to politicize this issue because they have access to electronic media and because they are connected or because they are children of the big. Children of the, of the poor have been kidnapped every day, but nobody has come up to say, stop running of cars in the, on the road. Stop uh, 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 opening schools or allow to, to, to continue. So innocent, innocent. Because that's our only source of livelihood. Well, thank you so much, Innocent Ajiji, for being part of The Breakfast this morning. We do appreciate your time and your thoughts as well on the show. And, of course, uh, fingers are crossed. We'll definitely follow up with development as they come. All right, uh, that's um, the size of um, the show for today. Uh, a very big thank you to you for sitting back and um, watching us. And, of course, um, to all of our guests that joined us today, we'll say... Um, Oh, thank you. A uh, very big thank you. All the same. My name is Justin Academy. Uh, the breakfast returns again tomorrow. If you missed out on any part of it, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And do subscribe to YouTube channel. We are at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Boko. Have a great day.